Hi, this is your host Sapil Bhartia, and today we have with us once again Alexis Richardson, CEO at WeWorks. Alexis, great to have you back on the show after a very long time. Great to be back, Swapnil. Uh, nice to see you again. And today we are going to talk about flux graduation. But before we talk about graduation itself, what it means, I will talk a bit about or tell our viewers a bit about what is flux, GitOps. Um, and talk a bit about its role in the modern cloud native world. GitOps is automation, automated IT, uh, powered by agents that run in your runtime environments based on configuration plans that you supply separately. And we say GitOps because often we keep those config plans or config files in Git. There are other idempotent um, immutable uh, artifacts that uh, people run like uh, container images, signed images, other artifacts, as well as config files. When we talk about GitOps, we really mean taking all of those immutable things, running them for you automatically in, in your runtime so that you don't have to have a human being or a system programmatically touching the runtime uh, when, when you're not supposed to. So it can be separated from you. For example, we use GitOps with Deutsche Telekom to manage thousands of telco towers running 5G in Kubernetes clusters, lots per tower. And wouldn't it be nice if you could update that software, make sure that it's running correctly without having any um, insecure connection to the, to, the, to the tower or sending an engineer. And that's really what GitOps lets you do. And Flux CD is a continuous deployment tool based on GitOps, which is used to power Kubernetes clusters application deployment. So if you want to use Jenkins with Kubernetes or GitHub Actions or GitLab, with Kubernetes, just get Flux, and Flux will glue them together and give you CD. So now you have CI CD for Kubernetes. The other thing that people are using this for is what people are calling now platform engineering. So you've heard of PaaS. So you have infrastructure, PaaS, and then apps. Where CI CD is about app deployment, platform engineering is about platform deployment. Creating your own custom environments, usually for enterprises like Fidelity, or Deutsche Telekom to run applications. And you, you can use Flux with Kubernetes and CAPI. To do this now, you just specify what components you want to run in Kubernetes, and then you have your platform. Obviously, there's a bit more to it than that, but that's the core idea. And then finally, the other thing you can do that's cool with Flux is manage infrastructure. So you can use the Flux Terraform integration or the Flux Pulumi integration and other integrations. And that will let you coordinate between Kubernetes, applications and clusters, and infrastructure using Terraform or Pulumi or Crossplane or one of those tools. So really what's emerging is an automated stack for IT based on Cloud Native, and that is pretty cool. I talk a bit about the progress within the, the, the Flux project, and also you talk about that we are talking about platform engineering now. So also talk about the evolution of the cultural aspect as well and how Flux GitOps fit into the picture. So Flux came into the picture five or six years ago. WeaveWorks originally wrote some open source technology and created a SaaS product running on Amazon EC2 to make it easy to manage and monitor applications running in the cloud that were based on containers. What we got right about that was people do need management and they do need monitoring, but it was very early times in the market. And many people came to us and said, we, we love your SaaS tool. We love the idea of deploying and managing applications this way. But right now we're still trying to get our first cluster set up. Can you help us with this? And what we had done in building this SaaS is we had built it on top of Kubernetes. So our engineering team had created a Kubernetes based stack for deploying a SaaS in multiple locations on Amazon. So we'd had redundancy 24 seven, we could do you know, continuous delivery of rollouts and patches, all of this cool stuff securely with automation. And people said, well, actually what we're really interested in is how are you doing that? Because we want to do that too. And we had written several tools, some of which you've seen in the CNCF to do different parts of this. And the one that did the deployment piece for deploying the apps and clusters was called Flux. And so we open sourced this and started working on it as a collaborative project across different use cases and customers. And then later on, we integrated it with things like you know, Kubernetes, Capi, uh, Terraform, Pulumi, as I mentioned a few minutes ago. But in the beginning, 
It was really an app deployment tool. And then we applied to move it into the CNCF, where it became uh, sandboxed and incubated, then uh, graduated yesterday, which is the, you know a long journey. The graduation process is very intensive with a lot of tests of security, enterprise use, community usability. So it's, it's, it's really battle hardened at this point. But I think from a social perspective, what's interesting is the ecosystem side. You know, you never quite know how people are going to use these technologies. And that's one, for me, that's one of the great benefits of open source, especially in a foundation environment. So Amazon, Microsoft, and VMware, to name three really big companies, have all put Flux at the heart of their businesses. It's running EKS Anywhere. It's running the Azure cloud for Amazon, sorry, for, for Azure Kubernetes and Arc. And it's running Tanzu application platform. That's incredible. And then you've all these other people doing other integrations too. Weaveworks have released something called Weave GitOps that integrates it with Kubernetes and adds features like developer on ramps and GUIs and so on. So everybody's used it in a different way. And for me, that's the most exciting part is watching this, this explosion of innovation around CICD and platform. Uh, who is using it? I mean, of course, <laughs> uh, there is a large ecosystem community. But when I say who is using it, I want to know a bit about specific use cases that either you are interested in and you're like, hey, this is very this is driving some of the adoption. So obviously, I mentioned Amazon, Microsoft, Tanzu are using it at scale, along with Mesosphere, Alibaba. Then you have the enterprise users, um, people like Fidelity. Uh, I love the Deutsche Telekom use case of rolling out 5G. That was one of the first global rollouts of 5G. Uh, took much less time than people expected. It was super exciting. Uh, we even had an HA event during the process, which was unexpected. GitOps, which is what we call this whole technology pattern, fixed the uh, HA for us. When a node went down, uh, the GitOps process has just brought it back up again. Um, one other cool project, Kubernetes at Home, um, is using Flux very, very much and at a great at high scale. Um, people who've spoken at uh, recent conferences, if you look at GitOpsCon and GitOps Days, you'll see all sorts of examples. Uh, State Farm using Flux with Terraform, um, Volvo, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, LunarWay, Casper is always talking at the conferences. Uh, quite a few different people. In terms of interesting use cases, um, the ones I'm fondest of are the ones where there's high scale involved, people pushing the envelope. So for example, managing thousands of clusters or doing um, very large numbers of deployments. These are the ones that are the most exciting. Can you also talk about sometimes what happens with a lot of projects that come into existence, you know, as you know, it emerge from the work, the work you folks are doing there. You are solving a specific problem internally and that's why you created, you know, a specific technology project. But sometimes, you know, when you put it out and folks start using it for use cases, I mean, Linux is a very good example. Kubernetes itself is a good example. Well, we are not writing our toasters on Kubernetes yet, but maybe one day. But so talk a bit about the flux itself where you have seen uh, uh, surprising some of use, use case. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a, a one surprising use case that I like to talk about because it's public and easy to read about is the United States Air Force. So um, this is documented on the CNCF website. People are using Flux and Kubernetes to manage in-flight systems for jets in the, in the Air Force. Um, and I believe that the role of Flux is to synchronize uh, the right software inside Kubernetes, make sure the apps are up to date. And periodically, when there's a connection, obviously in a plane, the connection is intermittent, you get the software will correct itself and load new versions. So it's great to feel that a tool like Flux is part of helping, for example, the Ukrainians in their current situation because you know it's difficult for us in tech to talk about military applications many people feel uncomfortable talking about that but i think you know the, the force of the military can be part of defense as well as some of its other uses too so i think that's great um what else can i say kubernetes at home is another interesting and surprising example um telco towers is another one we certainly didn't expect now let's talk about graduation what does it mean for the project, for the community, and for the larger ecosystem? So graduation is like getting a PhD. They can't take it away from you once you got it. So that's great. I think it's, it's become so intense now that it is like getting a PhD and being a good project. Um, this means that Flux is now among the elite 
of proven, uh, security audited, verified projects used at a sufficient scale, scope, and duration, longevity, that it's safe to consider them here to stay. I think that's the key point about graduation. It's also a way of measuring health in terms of the production processes, the sponsorship processes, the community processes, the quality of the code, the quality of the processes. All of these things are so, so important to, to the maintainers of Flux. I just can't tell you how important it is to them that this is seen in that way. And so for them, it's validation of years and years and years of work. So I want to say thank you to them right now. Thank you. Let's talk a bit about, of course, this is an open source project. People are involved. But what are the things that are in the pipeline that, that you folks are working on that, hey, these are the either problems that you're trying to solve or these are the improvements that you want to make? So the big thing with GitOps is how do you scale it beyond one cluster, one repo? And there's lots of different ways of doing that. So we've seen early tools like Flagger, which is about progressive rollouts. Uh, we're seeing things like policy, policy as code be integrated with GitOps. Flux has a particularly cool feature using Caverno for multi-tenancy, or you can see, look at the OCI support for Flux. Now that we have OCI as a standard image format, that gives us a scalable way to distribute secure images through CDNs. That's just incredibly powerful. And you, then you have fleet scale management as well. So all of these things, packaging, pipelining, policy, it'll begin with P, apart from fleets, are all ways of scaling GitOps that I think are the next phase. Um, what else can I say? The extension beyond Kubernetes is fundamental. You know, GitOps has proven to be the operating model for deployment and management of Kubernetes stacks. People are agreeing on this now. It's how we do platform engineering. But what about all of those non-Kubernetes-based applications, VMs, databases, machines, on-prem, hybrid, legacy services, all of this stuff, what we're finding is if you integrate Kubernetes and Flux with other orchestration tools like Crossplay, Terraform, Pulumi, Telco tools, you can have a cross data center integration for GitOps for everything. So that's really, really great. We love that. Those are all new things. At Weaveworks, the way that you should look at this is through the lens of Weave GitOps. Weave GitOps is an open source developer platform tool based on Flux and Kubernetes, which gives you a really easy developer starting experience, an on-ramp, gets rid of all kinds of application development pain points, gives you a nice GUI, is incredibly extensible. And from, from a business point of view, we extend it by adding commercial extensions. So you pay for those. It's very similar to using Grafana. You can have a great time using free Grafana, or you can pay and have extra Grafana plugins. Alexis, once again, thank you so much for taking time out today and, of course, talk about Flux, uh, GitOps, and uh, some of the exciting use cases. Thanks for all those you know, great insights. And as usual, I would love to sit down and chat with you again. Thank you. Thank you, Swapnil. So nice to see you again.